It's kind of a cold November day, and um, I'm in my uh, casita in front of my stove, and um, I want to test drive this soapstone. I got it off the idea off of one of the um, forums on Facebook for fiberglass RVs, and one of them, one person mentioned using a soapstone that you heat up, and what it does is it gives off a, a good even heat. Uh, for a long, long time, so I'm gonna test drive it. Get my gas going, let's turn it on, light it up. And place the soapstone over it to heat up. I don't know if they say like how long it should be, I don't know. I also picked um, one of these soapstones that um, has a handle, uh, makes it convenient. <laughs> this one is actually sold as a bacon press. You can also buy them as tortilla presses. But this is the only one I could find on uh, Amazon, and uh, so I ordered this one. Um, and yeah, like I said, I didn't want just a disc. Like sometimes you just have a round disc for like tortillas and no handle, and that seems like a would be an issue. <laughs> so we'll let that go. Okay, so the soapstone or the bacon press uh, <laughs> is heated. Um, it's even heated on the side that um, wasn't on the burner. And there's quite a bit of heat coming off of uh, this side. Um, it's a nice uh, gradual heat, but it's uh, I really only feel it when I'm like two, I don't know, like f four inches away or something like that, and then I can feel it generating the heat. I can see how the heat could last for a while. Um, we'll see how effective it is. It's pretty cold in my casita right now. Heated it up. It's giving off gentle heat. Um, not sure if this is really going to heat up the entire place, um, but um, I can see how it could it's a nice gentle heat that radiates, but I'll probably um, probably stick to my propane heater for now. <laughs> so I'm glad I got it. It's nice. Uh, I hear you can put it in the sun. You can heat it on your gas stove and just let it, you know, sit. Um, I'm gonna just see how well it uh, heats up this place and um, let you know. Well, I've heated this um, soapstone up um, to it got pretty hot, and um, it's definitely not something to be used for like to heat up your entire casita. I mean, I have a thirteen. I have the smallest version of the um, the fiberglass RV, the thirteen foot casita, and um, I can see how this can be used as like a bed warmer, which is um, one of the advertised uses of it. But as far as like heating an entire um, the entire interior, I think uh, you'd probably be disappointed. But um, it's still generating heat even, I think, a, like an hour after I heated it up. And I can feel it on my face. And I could see how you could put it in your, like, only heat it, what they recommend is heating it to 105 to 110 degrees. And then putting it um, at the feet of your bed. And I could see how that could uh, be a nice, toasty way of going to sleep. But, but, um, for heating your entire place, I'd probably say, hey, it's hard to beat a propane heater. All right, there's my review.